Meghan Markle is thought to be spending more time at the Beverly Hills Hotel as she pursues her Hollywood career comeback. It was rumored earlier this year that Meghan would set up a base in a hotel suite close to her talent agency William Morris Endeavor in Los Angeles. It seems that she's still conducting meetings at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Meghan was spotted outside the hotel earlier this week and appeared in a selfie alongside a group of paid fans, which was shared on social media. Meghan may be using the plush hotel as a base, given her 11 million pound home in Montecito is around 85 miles away, at least a 90-minute drive without traffic from West Hollywood. The photo was shared by broadcaster Jen Su, who initially shared it on Instagram as part of a post that seemingly featured photos from the Beverly Hills Hotel. One photo showed the hotel's logo on a note, while another showcased what appeared to be the lobby of the five-star hotel. She wrote, arrived in Los Angeles and ran right into Meghan Marl, amazing way to start the trip. Jen later shared the selfie again in a separate post, writing, landed in LA and on our way to dinner, we ran into Meghan Marl, totally low-key and super friendly, nice conversation. Jen didn't provide additional details about the interaction, except when asked in the comments section if Prince Harry had been with Meghan. Jen replied she was by herself. Melissa Leonard, who was in the selfie along with Madison Leonard, also shared the photo and tagged the hotel. A source close to Melissa Leonard revealed that Meghan was hanging out at the Beverly Hills Hotel, probably selling herself to Gordon G., or some other rich guy who's not Harry. But then again, that's exactly the kind of person who'd be two hours away from home when they have no work in Los Angeles. Gordon is staying at Beverly Hills now from the time she was attempting to bewitch the giddy octogenarian with her rinky-dink charm and other handy talents at the Beverly Hills Hotel. She just keeps digging that people love me hole a little deeper every day with these stories about how popular she's supposed to be. Invictus didn't quite pan out like she thought it would, so she's digging through the back catalog of sugar shots to fill the void. Astute political observers believe they know Meghan's motive for ingratiating herself with the reclusive G, and it's not, they say, the obvious quest for big bucks to fund a lavish lifestyle post-Netflix and Spotify deals. The G family, especially Gordon, has a long and close relationship with California Governor Gavin Newsom. These observers posit that Meghan has been lobbying G's assistance to influence the governor into appointing a U.S. senator from California to replace Dianne Feinstein who's expected to resign in advance of the next election due to age and health constraints. With that in mind, here follows my Santa Barbara News Press column of 29th of April 2021, All in the Family, which reveals the G. Governor Gavin connections. The news comes after Meghan Markle has been warned her reputation has been damaged beyond repair, and spending tens of millions of dollars on a PR makeover won't succeed as she plots a huge comeback. Gardner told Daily Express U.S. Meghan is hugely unpopular on both sides of the Atlantic, and those levels are greater than those of Harry. All the money in the world cannot repair her damaged reputation. It's been damaged beyond repair, and she has inflicted this upon herself. No one else to blame. Even spending tens of millions of dollars on a PR makeover won't succeed. The American and British people can now see right through that. 